I'm Vic Tradibowali, I'm the Chair of Collaborate, Chief Executive Turning Point, uh, Member of the House of Lords and um, probably a right pest. Oh, hello Spencer. Hi. Hi. Victor will do nicely, yeah, Victor will do nicely, yeah, yeah, unless you're trying to sell me something. We are at Collaborate. Uh, Collaborate's a do tank, not a think tank. It is designed to fill the space, um, a big space actually, which is radical, um, rational thinking about the future of services to the public. The future of services to the public does not lie in the realm of the public sector as we now know it, or the private sector, or the not-for-profit sector. It lies in the process of collaboration. Um, on this, on this, I mean, it emerged that you'd worked as a street sweeper. I have, yes. So I've how did you end up doing that? Well, you know, it was one of those things. I needed a job. I, I, I needed a job because um, I'm not from a rich family. So I had to work and um, uh, I got a job and that was the job I got. I'm sure there are people who've come from very humble beginnings in the House of Lords, actually. And, and what strikes me is that there are people in the House of Lords and there are people who've made a lot of money who started off on welfare, right. who now think that the welfare system is something that's, that should be cut back, slashed. So this is Turning Point's Westminster Drug Project. This is an integrated um, substance misuse service. We deal with alcohol and other drugs here. But people who come here um, have health problems. Um, if this service wasn't here, um, they'd be going to A&E. I think it's probably true. If we shut our services on the Monday, you'd probably notice the difference by Wednesday afternoon. We're only as good as our last interaction. So we might look after 100, over 100,000 people, but we have probably the millions of interactions at every day, and yeah. certainly every year it will be in the tens of millions, and every interaction carries a life. Uh, I am emotionally invested in what I do because I think that's the difference between leadership and management. Uh, management can be done, is, is a kind of logical um, allocation of resource, um, uh, whereas leadership involves the investment of emotion. It, it is fashionable to slag off the House of Lords um, and those people in it, it is fashionable because the, the reason that most people give me is that, well, it's not elected, so it's undemocratic. Democracy it consists of two things. It consists of the act of debate, free debate in a free society, and the act of voting. And if you have one without the other, then you don't have a, don't have a democracy. Now, that is represented by the House of Commons, which has more powers than the House of Lords, and whose members are elected, and the House of Lords, which is a revising chamber where there is debate. And for me, that, that, that for me is an equation that works. Now, you can argue about, well, how people get appointed or anointed. There isn't a perfect system. I mean, I went for an interview. I don't know about you, but most people went for an interview for the job. I was interviewing people who I, did, who I didn't know, and I got the job. We're now here, we're at the Museum of London, and the Museum of London um, has this, um, well, this, this, the Booth Poverty Map, which was one of the first maps of poverty in London, um, well, it, ever done. It was the first time everybody had, had, had done it. And we're here because I'm the chair of the London Fairness Commission, at least I will be until um, May or thereabouts. We're going to produce an index that the public can use to measure um, the performance and the leadership of this great city and, and hopefully it will be referred to in the same way that the poverty line was because I think you know our, our political masters whoever they are from whichever party should be afraid of the people's opinion. I think we could go either way we could become a real city of opportunity of access of, 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 of fair, regardless of background a real meritoc meritocratic city you know we could or we return to a, a city like Booth, except we've got iPads.